this is a tutorial on how to install Windows 8 the consumer edition make sure that you boot from your DVD or ISO that you've created this is the splash screen that comes up once you've selected any button now after setting your BIOS to boot up from DVD or ISO okay we got a selection of languages and time configuration keyboard layouts just starting now after clicking install okay take note of this product key for the consumer edition this is the 32-bit version next to the box that I'm typing the product key into there's a keyboard which is for touchscreen predominantly you can use it to to use the mouse if your keyboard's not working but I don't think you'd really want to be installing this if you haven't got a working keyboard okay so take note of this product key for the consumer edition 32-bit and obviously you're going to accept that click custom install if you want a fresh install you can do an upgrade but ideally a fresh Microsoft always recommend you do a fresh install because you don't know whether there's going to be compatibility problems with your software and hardware okay it's just copying files this is a a, um, a skipped version of the tutorial today it will obviously take about half an hour but this has been condensed down to approximately nine minutes or so okay it's just getting ready to reboot do make sure that you take your DVD out otherwise it may want to install again and you'll be in a never-ending loop for those of you that haven't done this before In this case, I haven't taken the DVD out. Okay, you've got the splash screen that looks slightly different. With the fish in the middle. It should be finally logging into the machine. okay it wants us to put in a PC name and set a color I'm just going to call the PC user you can always go customize or um, normal install or express rather here it's to sign into a PC linked with your Microsoft live account I don't have one so I'm just going to show you what it looks like if you don't have one Yeah, it gives you an option to sign up like the previous screen and then it says it doesn't work it tries to put some capture there I'm gonna go back and say I don't want to sign in with a Microsoft account and create a local account I believe that's for the cloud-based apps that are out there and you'll see some of those once we get to the main desktop area just put in the password and a password hint and 
do make sure that your username is not the same as your PC name. Okay, this is just finalizing all the settings and then in the minute it should be creating a local profile for the machine which will take about a minute or so. There are quite a few new built-in apps that you'll see. Uh, that's not really in the last two editions of Microsoft Windows. There, there are some games that you can link in with Xbox Live. Um, there are s some apps there that you can see in the next screen that's coming up in a minute. Like you can go straight into your email which is a built-in app that's not really been incorporated in Windows previously it's really gearing up for cloud-based apps for the future and when you go in you won't see the desktop straight away you'll see a list of apps and you can scroll across it's really geared up for tablet devices which I believe at some point there will be a, a huge amount more tablet devices with Microsoft operating systems on there and there has been a, re, um, a There has been a rumour that this is coming out in October. Okay, now you can see things there like camera. Obviously, you've got a laptop with a webcam, tablet, and you've got photos, messaging for their MSN, videos. Obviously, Internet Explorer, you've got the desktop there, and you've got the weather this is going to take us to the end of this tutorial if you do want to make any comments or to see any more tutorials visit the website on the screen